Hey there and welcome back. So in the previous video we set up the dependencies and we uh, modified the package JSON test script so that we can run our product test and it seems to be working. We don't have any test though. But we have this file here and uh, let's try to make our first test using Mocker here. So the first thing here is that we should change our uh, environment. Let's just run test here. So this means that uh, we've switched the database over to the test mode, so we will use a test database now. Next up is that we should get uh, Chai imported, so we just require Chai here. And if we look at, uh, let's just get the expect. Oh, let's just wait here because if we make a dot after the require here we can see that uh, chai has a lot of uh, handy features a lot of objects we can use it has the assert function here that we can uh, use for a lot of different things we also have expect quest and should many different things so if we do const expect and let's just take the expect part of it first so the way it works is that we start out with describing our uh, test collection here. Let's just put first test collection here. And then we specify a function that will have all the individual test cases in there. So we will we can specify it. And then we write that, what should it do in here? And again, we put in a function that where we can write the actual test. So so we have that in here. So we can put if we put should test two values. Let's make a really simple test here first. If we get the terminal back here, let's just let's just run the test again. So then we can see that the mockup will run the test. It will run the product test JS and it will find our test collection, first test collection, and then it will run this first test case that it should test two values. It will display the a description of it right here and we don't have any test at the moment but if we make a really simple test in the beginning here if we get uh, let's make a let here expected value let's say we are just comparing two numbers and let's so we have an expected value of 10 we have an actual value of five so this could be some calculation or some input we get that we want to test against then we can write expect and we will have to put the actual value first expect that this actual value and now we can write this syntax in a way that mimics the way that we would actually say this so we can write expect this actual value and then we can write two be equal to this expected value. So in that sense, um, chai is really easy to understand and write the uh, syntax because it really tries to mimic the way we talk about it. So expect some actual value to be equal to this expected value. So that makes sense if we say it out loud there. And if we run the test again, we can see that We can see we get a failure from Mocha because we we provided, you can see here if I can fit this on the screen here, we had an expected value of 10 and an actual, actual value of five. So of course this will fail because it expected to be equal. And this is what Mocha tells us here that we have one failing test one failing and assertion error expected five to be equal to 10. So 
it tries to tell us that we have a, a failed test and why it failed. So if we try to put 10 in here, so and see that it will hopefully pass now. Then we can see that we have a nice uh, check over there, it should test two values and it passed. Okay, so that's the first test here in uh, using uh, Mocha and Chai. And of course we're not testing any routes at the moment, but in the next video we will try to write some tests that interfaces up to our API routes. Okay, so see you in the next video and have fun with this. Bye-bye.